hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i'll be this video is essentially a continuation of the previous video i had uploaded so in the previous video i had shown how to calculate running totals in power query and in this video we'll be working with running totals itself but we'll be calculating running totals by a subcategory or a group so in this case it would be months so i have january here january here january here so we essentially need the first three rows and four five six and then seven eight nine group together so that is the first step that we'll do so this is the table that we i had worked on in the last video so if you haven't watched the last video do watch it for better understanding of this video and i just duplicated the table here so i'll just do that and show it to you so yes i want to delete this table so what i did essentially was i just duplicated this table and I just removed the two steps. So if you watch the previous video, we had added this and this column, index and the running totals column. So let's just remove that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to go to group. So group by month. And let's keep it at count. And all those. Okay. Perfect. So as you can see at the bottom over here, we have all the tables grouped together, all the three rows group together by months now what i'll do is i'll go to my view tab in the table one that's really this is table two so that there's no confusion okay so table one view tab advanced editor and if you watch the last video carefully in the last video i had essentially done these three steps so i'm going to copy these steps because we're going to be using these steps over here as well so just highlight them and control c and come back to table 2 and get down to the advanced editor and now here we'll have to create a function so this function would essentially be to calculate running totals and <coughs> okay so now let's name this function as run function so we would want this to run table as table as table okay now let now here is where we will be copying those steps that we we're pasting those steps that we copied so i'll paste these now once i've pasted these we need to make a couple of changes here so essentially first this change type is referring to the table one wherein i had created an index column and it was the previous step to that index column so over here we would need to substitute this with the run table so you just delete that and use run table that's done and once that is done you'll essentially need to so we've created the function so now if I just go ahead and press OK, you would see that, you know, it has been executed, but nothing has changed. You know, you don't see the running totals. And that is essentially because you've not called the function. You know, you've not used the function. So now what I would do is I will use that function. So where will I use it? I'll use it right here. So let's just call the function and let's run totals and the table dot transform and now what we'll be doing here is we'll be referring to the previous step so here by previous step i mean before i run the totals in my new column I would want to go back to the previous column so in this case it would be this over here group rows because that is what we want to extract from so you copy that you bring it down here you paste it here then you enter the comma input the brackets and now we would enter the name of the column that we will so essentially this one the column that has all the tables grouped together so count and you will use the each to run the function 
once you've done that you just ensure that you've closed it and you press enter okay so now that we've done this there's one small change that we need to make so this change would essentially be that over here as you see that it is referring to group rows so we don't want that we want it to refer to this run totals that we've created over here this is how we've called the function okay there's an error it says let's just type it again so that there's no error run totals okay and just rename the same thing down here okay why am i seeing this error okay yeah let's just add a comma down here okay so that is why we were seeing the error i hope I'm, yeah okay everything no syntax errors have been detected so now what you do is you just press done and now to check whether we've actually you know got the running totals you can clearly see that you know we've got these columns by subcategory so i have the sales for january across my three product categories and i have the running totals again for february and for march let's view these together so let's just remove the index column and the month column and click ok ok so now what we have here is essentially the rank totals but by subcategory just so you can confirm that january starts 19 then we have the rank totals february starts at 50 and then we have the rank totals and march starts 19 which is the sales for tables and then we have the rank totals so this is essentially how you calculate running totals by subcategory this was a bit confusing for me too i know if you're a beginner in power query this would be a bit confusing for you too but you know it's always important that we get our hands into these this difficult stuff so that we get a grasp of it get an understanding of it so that we can advance ourselves we can better ourselves you know in this area so thank you for watching the video my name is Salha Parkar and if you like the video do hit the like button subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content on Microsoft Power BI Excel PowerPoint Tableau thank you